The annual Met Gala just took place last night, and it was just as star studded as we would have expected. But there were some celebrities who were not in attendance who we can assume will never be invited. Let's get into the top 10 celebrities Anna Wintour will never invite to the Met Gala. In at number 10, Rachel Zoe. Rachel Zoe got on Anna Wintour's bad side when Zoe claimed that she was more influential to fashion than Anna Wintour. Clearly not the best thing to say if you want to be honored with an invite to the gala. There were rumors that Rachel was blacklisted from the Met invite list after she told the New York Times, quote, Anna Wintour is one of my heroes, but they say that I'm more influential. As great as it is, Vogue won't change a designer's business. But if an unknown brand is worn by a certain person in a tabloid, it will be the biggest designer within a week. Back in 2007, Rachel was invited to the Met and was to be seated at Brian Atwood's table, but she was disinvited shortly after the invite. Many think it was due to these comments. But clearly the tension between them didn't last long as Rachel was invited back to the 2012 Met. In at number 9, Andre Leon Talley. Anna Wintour and the late fashion legend Andre Leon Talley had a very close bond for many years. They even worked together at Vogue. But it seemed that suddenly Talley was cut from Vogue and was no longer close with Wintour. We got the full story behind their feud in Talley's 2020 memoir, The Chiffon Trenches. According to parts of the book obtained by Page Six, he claimed he was fired from his position as Vogue's editor at large in 2018 because, quote, I'd suddenly become too old, too overweight, too uncool. He also claimed that when he was fired, Wintour did not even have the decency to call him and speak to him beforehand. He also revealed that when he began to struggle with weight after the death of his grandmother, Wintour reportedly offered him a gym membership, then held an intervention years later. After this bitter feud started, Tally was not invited to the Met again. Thankfully, the pair reportedly made up shortly before his death. And at number 8, Donald Trump. One of the only people we can be sure will not be invited to the Met Gala is none other than former President Donald Trump. Although I should say he won't be invited back again because Trump has attended the Met Gala in the past. However, his political run changed that all for him, and since he's hated by most of the Hollywood elites, it makes sense they wouldn't want to see him at the Met. This ban was confirmed when Anna Wintour revealed it on The Late Late Show with James Corden. In 2017, during one of Corden's segments, Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts, Corden asked who Wintour would never invite back to the event, and she was quick to answer Donald Trump. Since she was not shy to reveal it to the public, clearly she's very confident of her decision. In at number 7, Melania Trump. Along with her hatred of Donald Trump, Anna Wintour also does not care for his wife and the former first lady, Melania Trump. To make matters worse, Anna Wintour and Michelle Obama had a very close friendship and put Michelle on the cover of Vogue a number of times throughout her reign as first lady. The feud started in 2019 when Wintour was asked about putting first ladies on the cover of Vogue. Wintour commented that there is a tradition to put the first lady on the cover when they first come into office. When speaking about putting Michelle on the cover three times, Wintour added, quote, I don't think it's a moment not to take a stand. You have to stand up for what you believe in and you have to take a point of view. During this talk about first ladies, Wintour failed to mention Melania, who was the current first lady at the time and had not been put on the cover of Vogue as first lady. Melania's team shot back with a statement saying, quote, To be on the cover of Vogue doesn't define Miss Trump. She's been there, done that, long before she was first lady. Her role as first lady of the United States and all that she does is much more important than some superficial photo shoot and cover. Also adding that this is furthering the device of rhetoric and bias in fashion against Trump. And in number 6, Khloe Kardashian. So this prediction was proved wrong last night when Khloe was finally invited to the Met, but it was definitely clear for a few years that Anna did not want Khloe Kardashian at the event. The Met Gal is a place that is usually full of Kardashians. Kim, Kylie, and Kendall are always a mainstay, with Mom Chris also usually getting an invite. But fans have noticed over the years that Chloe and Courtney have never attended the event, even though they are famous enough to attend. Insiders revealed that at first, Anna never wanted any of the Kardashians at the event. But over time, Kim, Kylie, and Kendall impressed Anna with their fashion, and she believed they were influential enough to be invited. Unfortunately, Chloe never made the cut, and insiders claim that Anna believed Chloe was quote, to see list to be invited to the event. Another rumor swirled that Courtney had been invited, but didn't go because she didn't want Chloe to be left out. Thankfully, all the members of the Kardashian family were present at the 2022 Met. Halfway number 5, Tim Gunn. Tim Gunn is a legendary fashion critic who made the mistake of criticizing Anna Wintour, which caused him to be blacklisted from the Met. The pair's feud began in 2010 after Gunn wrote in his book, Gunn's Golden Rules, a story of Anna being carried down some stairs. Writing in the book, quote, Knowing she famously disliked riding in elevators with other people, I thought, how will she ever get down? Hurrying over to the elevators, he looked over to the stairway railing to find that her two bodyguards were having a fireman's lock and were racing her up from landing to landing. With her sitting 
hanging in their crossed arms. Wintour was even carried all the way to her car. Apparently after he published that story, all hell broke loose and their relationship was strained and it reportedly demanded a retraction, which he did not agree to. After trashing Anna in the magazine in general, Gunn has not been invited back to fashion's biggest day. In at number 4, Azadine Alea Anna Wintour is considered a fashion icon to many people in the industry, other than Azadine Alea. The pair's feud began in 2009 when Alea's work wasn't included in the Costume Institute's exhibit, The Model as Muse. This snub caused many of the designer's good friends like Naomi Campbell to skip the Met in protest. When asked about the snub, the designer stated that when Twerk quote, behaves like a dictator, but I'm not scared of her anymore. Things got much shadier a few years later when Alea came after Wintour's personal style, saying quote, Wintour runs the business very well, but not the fashion part. When I see how she is dressed, I don't believe in her taste for one second. The final dig happened when Alea concluded quote, Anyway, who will remember Anna Wintour in the history of fashion? No one. Clearly after those harsh words, Anna will do everything in her power to keep him away from the Met. In at number 3, Tom Brady This one's probably harmless, but who knows what lengths Anna will go to to avoid an awkward confrontation. Back in 2014, Anna Wintour visited Late Night with Seth Meyers to dish about the Met Gala that year. Myers asked her about some of her favorite looks from that year, and she gushed over the celebrities that she believed looked the best. When Tom Brady's fashion choice came up, Anna was more than underwhelmed. Brady decided to wear a black tie to the white tie event, a big no-no. When asked about his look, Anna said, quote, Well, he has Giselle, so that helps. Ouch. Clearly, if it was up to Anna, he would not be invited back, but because he's married to Giselle, she receives a plus one for him. In at number two, Kamala Harris. Vice President Kamala Harris and Anna Wintour got into a tense feud over Harris's Vogue cover photo. Harris was honored to be featured in Vogue and took some photos that were very casual and others that were more vice presidential. Harris assumed that a serious one of her in a blue suit would be chosen for the cover photo. However, the political community was shocked when the cover photo showed a casual Kamala laughing and wearing a casual suit with sneakers. Harris reportedly felt belittled by the photo and complained to Anna to change it. Wintour chose the photo because she loved how relatable it made Harris seem, but it seemed to belittle the position that Harris was in. Harris's favorite photo of her in the suit was used as a limited edition alternative. Some of the vice president's allies slams Vogue's choice of the cover photo, saying it failed to give Harris the respect that she deserved. Others also said the lighting and background of the photo were very unflattering. Anna doesn't like to be challenged, so we can assume she thinks lesser of Harris now. And finally, number one, Amber Heard. This one is pretty obvious, but there's no chance that Amber Heard will be invited to the Met Gala again. I say again because Heard has gone many times in the past, even once with her ex, Johnny Depp. Even though Amber always looks beautiful at the event, in light of all the negative media coverage surrounding her, the Met will not want to be associated with her whatsoever, even if she happens to be found innocent after the trial. It will be interesting to see if Johnny Depp would ever be invited back, but I assume even if he was invited, he would choose not to attend. So that is all for the list, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this below. Also, let me know anyone that I missed that could be in a part two. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and we'll catch you in the next one.